hello y'all and welcome back to the channel marquita here i know it has been a minute but y'all i have been so exhausted life is life and more so work life is life in. um my life is still pretty uh calm cool collected and dull but work life is it is crazy the fourth quarter is always our busiest quarter um so yeah nothing new there but either way, I decided it has been a rainy Saturday here, off and on rain. Haven't been anywhere outside of the house other than to the trash. Um, so it feels good outside. It's just rainy. So I decided, let me hop on and talk to the people and let them know what I've been doing, which is pretty much just kind of uh, shopping, little shopping, but for actual things, for the most part, things that I need um, or could actually make use of. So a few things I've picked up probably in the past couple of weeks from very stores and some of them are on sale some of them you know are random things that I just need for the house so or I just want to treat myself to so I'm gonna go ahead and get into it I'll let you know what stores they're from as I share the items most of them are from places that you should have access to whether physically in store or through an online uh, situation so I don't think it's anything that or at least any store that people wouldn't know about or have access to so because this is sitting right in front of me, I'm going to start with my Big Locks purchase. So for those of you who aren't familiar, Big Locks is kind of like a cheaper version of like TJ Maxx Home Goods. They have a little bit of everything. So the first thing I pick up is actually something that I've been looking for, and that um, is I got two of these. Hopefully you guys can see them. Anti-fatigue kitchen mats. These are by Martha Stewart, and I wanted the specific ones like this and meaning like by her or this particular uh type of mat because i've had i had to buy her they weren't pretty in pattern they were just kind of like a solid gray but they got messed up in the flood when my old apartment flooded for those of you who are new and never seen my channel before um my old apartment flooded um last year right after christmas and so in my kitchen a big pipe burst and so these my mats were that were in there got flooded and i had gotten them from costco and costco didn't have them anymore when i went back to try to get them to replace them so i've been searching for a good quality anti-fatigue mat for a while and those were martha stewart as well so i've been seeing these this particular pattern in um TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, all that. And the reason why I had never picked it up is because this really doesn't match anything in my kitchen whatsoever. Um, the flooring that's in the picture is kind of what my floor looks like. So that's not the issue. The issue is my kitchen is black and white. Also wouldn't really be a big issue if the other mats that I already have in there had any match in any way, shape, or form with this one. And they don't. Neither do my kitchen towels or anything. But you know what? I like color, so we gonna run with it. So I'm gonna see we're gonna make it work. Plus, these are on the floor, so it shouldn't clash too bad. But they are really comfortable. Um, this particular mat is a 20 by 36 inch. So it's a decent length. They were $9.99 a piece, which is a steal because these mats, and I'll show you the back as well. They are a little bit raised up. I don't know if you can tell from the view, but um, you can kind of see how they stick out. They're not flat. They're not just flat cushiony mats. They are raised up a little bit because they do have that um, memory foam cushion in the center, which adds to the support. Um, so these are water resistant PVC. They're air infused memory foam and they're skid resistant um, PVC. See backing so it doesn't slide across the floor. Um, the other items I bought from Big Rocks, very simple. I wasn't really going for too much. I was going to see what they had, um, and they happened to have the mats, so I went ahead and got them. And like I said, those I have seen in TJ Maxx, Marshalls. I think they were a little bit more expensive. Like I said, nine ninety nine at Big Rocks, but I think they were like maybe twelve ninety nine or something, twelve or thirteen ninety nine maybe in TJ Maxx. So not a huge difference, but if you want the cheapest. Big Lots is the cheapest I've seen, but if you want the mat and you don't have a Big Lots, check TJ Maxx and Marshalls because they also have the same pattern as well. So these, this next thing is just a t-shirt, graphic tee. You guys know I love graphic tees. This is Miss Marilyn Monroe. She's holding a puppy and her signature is at the bottom. This was $8. And as you can see, I got it in size extra, extra large just to get that oversized fit. Um, it's super, it's stretchy and it's also um, very soft super soft so i like that about it um it is 60 percent cotton and 40 percent polyester yes so it has a um nice nice feel to it so 
think it's going to be really comfortable. They had a ton of graphic tees in there. They had a lot of the Disney um, characters because you guys know Disney's doing their 100 years. So they had a lot of Disney shirts. Most of them range anywhere from like 8 to 10 bucks. So um, definitely if, you, if you're if you a fan of Disney or you have like someone in your family who is, you can definitely get them some cute graphic tees from Big Lots um, with the Disney stuff. Um yeah, so I saw, and they had a lot of Super Mario stuff. Like, they had a whole rack of just, like, Super Mario characters. Um, the last two things that I got from Big Locks were two journals. Um, so, the reason I bought these journals, I do kind of collect them. I'll just say that I hoard, I hoard journals. Yes, I do, with pretty covers. Um, this one was $5.99, and it's just a hard spiral bound um, journal with line pages. I'm not sure how many pages are in there, but it is front and back um, lined. But the reason I picked up, one of the reasons I picked this up, other than that's a cute cover, is this is from um, the Mackenzie Jones, Jones Studio Collection. And I've mentioned Mackenzie Jones before on my channel. She did a collaboration with Target back when, you know how Target does like... Um, they collaborate with different people for different collections and whatnot. She was one of those artists. She's a North Carolina-based artist. Um, she owns Jones Studio Company, and she's a designer, illustrator, and photographer. So you can get a lot of her work. She also has like an Etsy shop that you can order directly from as well. Um, her art style, I guess you could say, embraces diversity, beautiful natural tones, and earthy boho vibes to empower women and bring people closer through Right. The other journal that I purchased, this one actually, that was more like a notebook, like you can use it for whatever, you can make it a journal or you can just use it as a notebook. This one is laid out a little bit more like an actual journal. It was $4.99 and it's by Spoonful of Faith, which is also another um, black artist that I follow on Instagram and just, it's also line, pay, blank line pages, it has a spot for a date and then you can write however you like to fill it in so it's double-sided line pages it's a little bit bigger as you can tell than the other one, a little thicker so it's more pages but it does say journal across the top next up let's talk about just a random some random items that i picked up first being these dove exfoliating body polish i picked up two same scent um which is the brown sugar and cocoa coconut butter this one is the uh, deep exfoliating body polish. A lot of them are medium, which would be like two dots. You see the dots down here. A lot of them would be two dots, which would be medium. Um, but I got these two because one, the brown sugar, just that just sounds wonderful. And coconut butter, of course. So I do have another one of these. I have the blue. So it's like the light blue um top up here if you guys use this stuff you probably know which one i'm talking about i can't remember what uh scent that was but i have that one but cvs was having a sale um these are 10.5 ounces in both of them but cvs was having a sale where they were um i don't remember the exact details of the sale i know that you earn three dollars extra bucks for buying these and then i got there was a coupon for i think it was like four dollars off or a certain amount of money or you know four or eight dollars off of two so and i had some extra books as well or some kind of coupon where i got like an additional four dollars so for these two i only paid out of pocket like five dollars and some change and that was with tax and after all my coupons and then i got three dollars extra books back after that purchase so really you could say it was like two dollars if you want to count the extra book um that I got back because it was kind of like cash back essentially. So if you want to count those in there, then I only pay like two dollars, but what I paid out of pocket was like five fifty. So not bad at all because these run for like nine ninety nine each in CVS. They're a little bit cheaper in like Target and places like that, but um, in CVS they're nine ninety nine. So not bad at all. But again, you can get these, you know, Walmart, Target, anywhere they sell like Dove stuff, you can pretty much find it. So you don't specifically have to go to CVS. Just to note, this is a moisturizing cream. Um, it is a plant-based cleanser, pH balance, no sulfate uh, cleansers, and it's a 100% recycled jar. And it's also cruelty-free. Just a few facts about the product. Alright, so that's all I want to share that just because it was a really good deal. Next thing I want to show you is this Prada Paradox Intense. Now, this is the travel size, obviously. Um, I know people have been rave raving about 
Prada Paradox. Um, but I can never get my hands on a like sample bottle to like, you know, test her in the store. It's always empty or they just don't have one out. So for the first time I finally was able, I think I went into Sephora and they had the product, the Paradox Intense sampled out, so tester out. So I was able to spray it and I understand the hype now. I see why people were going crazy over this. Like I have Prada candy and it wasn't bad. Um, but it didn't give me what I thought I was expecting to give. I have it and I'm still going to wear it and I do wear it from time to time, but it's not like a top fave that I reach for. So I was kind of wondering like, you know, is Prada Paradox going to do the same thing? Cause people raved about candy as well. And it's not bad. It's just not my necessarily particular scent fragrance house or whatnot, but Prada Paradox, I understand the hype and I agree with it. Um, and again, this is the intense Paradox intense. I really like this. It's long lasting and it smells great um i spray anything i don't think i sprayed anything on today because i haven't left the house so oh yeah and i put it on like in the store walked around and you know did some other shopping and came home and it was still um it was to be i could still pick up the scent on my arm if you see me kind of looking sideways, it's because I'm watching Oregon versus Washington and it's in the fourth quarter with two minutes, a little under two minutes, and it's a very close game. So that's why it's been a good game. So that's why I'm kind of eyeing it because it's seeing what's going on. But this smells wonderful. And it is, again, like I said, it is a, it's got longevity. So it's definitely worth the hype. And some of these dogs are just like yapping like crazy so that's why it kind of like throwing me off there but um it's worth the hype the big bottles i think the smallest big bottle probably runs like around a hundred a little over a hundred dollars so it is up there in the price point and for that i definitely want to make sure that it's something that i like and i definitely want to make sure that it has the longevity because i'm not trying to pay like a hundred plus dollars for something that is gone in less than 30 minutes I need you to know that I'm wearing this and I need to maybe even leave my uh, evidence that I was there, okay, for a hundred plus dollars. And every hundred plus dollar fragrance don't do that, but Prada Paradox does. So I would recommend it. I picked this up at Sephora, but I think they also have it at Ulta in the travel size. If you're ever doing um, blind buys and it's for a brand that either you are not familiar with or if it's like a high... Um, higher end or more expensive and you can get the travel spray buy the travel spray if you're not sure don't don't waste your money because even though yes you get a refund don't nobody have time for that like just buy that little one <laughs> and you can still take that one back too let's see last but not least we have a oh, one more beauty item here that i picked up and this was from ulta and this is the keys soul care if you're not familiar with this brand it is alicia Keys skincare line this is the sacred body oil and it's a combination of marula and uh, baobab oil. I hope I pronounced that right. You get 1.69 full of uh, 1.69 ounces of the oil. And I this was just a fluke purchase. I had gone to Ulta and I was getting something else. And when I went to the counter, they were having a sale. So items that were marked down with yellow stickers were additional 50% off. But as you can see, the sticker is clearly not yellow. It is orange. And so when I saw it at the counter, I asked the girl, I said, are there any, is there any additional off of that? I said, that's just the markdown, right? It's just, you know, clearance, $25. And she was like, let me check. So she scans it and it comes up $6.25. I said, oh, add to cart, add to the bag, throw it in the bag. Yes, I got this. So this is the second product from the Alicia Keys skincare line that I have purchased. Um, the other item was kind of like the body butter. I forgot the official name for it, but it's like one of the body butters. Same situation. It was marked down in Ulta, super low price. And I was like, let me give her line a try because I had seen things about it. But the price point is on the higher end because of the, I think because of the different ingredients, uh, it's natural and it's good quality ingredients. And so if you're looking for like skincare things, I don't think that's is a bad price or necessarily overpriced, but I didn't see a lot of promotion for it. And I noticed that at least some of the Ultras where I am, they tend to be clearancing it out. So I don't know if it was just a temporary situation, if it didn't sell well, whatever the case may be. So if you want to try it, keep your eye out because it's probably, it may be marked down. And I will say the times that I've caught the markdowns have been in store and online it was still be regular price. So you would have to probably go in store and see if you can catch it. Um, so... Again, this is Keys Soul Care. 
and this is the sacred body oil it is in like a dropper but you can just i mean it's, it works really good i put it on my leg just to try it out but just so you can see what it looks like it's a good size dropper and you could probably mix it in with like a body butter if you wanted as well but i just dabbed a little bit of it straight out on my leg it feels great it smells good it's not a super strong smell so you can definitely mix it but it leaves my skin feeling nice and soft and you have a little bit of a glow but it's not like super oily shiny but it's just a little sheen and i like that one thing about this um soul care line is that it's kind of like a positive affirmation healing situation and so all of her products have like a little kind of affirmation um on the box or on the product like on this bottle it says everything i do is an act of creation so it's kind of like as you're doing your self-care you can kind of be you know in the zone and doing these positive affirmations that are on your product or on the product so that was kind of the vision behind her product product line and I like that and of course I love the fact that her stuff is in purple you know that's like the color because um purple is my favorite color so why not so so far the two items that I have tried from her line I like so I would recommend giving her line a try um she has things for like your face and, and skin and all of that I just didn't need any so I didn't bother to buy it but they if you're looking for like skincare like a, a toner and all that other kind of stuff she does have that as part of her line and she did this line um, in collaboration with the dermatologist um, a board certified dermatologist and if you are familiar with Alicia Keys you should know that she has dealt with skin issues before especially like acne and all that especially when she first came out so she has been a um, spokesperson for other companies with skincare so I think this is probably what helped inspire her to create her own skincare line so chances are it will work pretty well just because she's lived that you know situation with needing um things to handle like adult acne and all of that so i'd recommend it and for 625 i have no complaints zero complaints whatsoever all right so last but not least we are going to look at things from old navy now i for the first set of things i'm going to show you i bought these two different days so the last thing i'm last items i'm going to show you i purchased yesterday but um the other the first set of things i'm going to show you i purchased like last week or so and so i do have some in the fitting room footage of me trying these items on so you can actually see what they look like on me and if they're still available i will post them in the description box the link to them down in the description box um and that goes for all the old navy stuff the other thing about Old Navy, before I show you the pieces, is that they are currently doing the Super Cash Redemption. So that's why I went in Old Navy yesterday, because I was redeeming my $20 of Super Cash that I had earned from the things I'm about to show you now. The other thing is, this is currently an earning time for Super Cash, because not only did I redeem my $20 of Super Cash, but I earned $20 of Super Cash when I made my purchase yesterday. And that um, Super Cash redemption doesn't start until December. So I'll talk about that at the end. But first off, let's get into what I bought um, the other week. And this is a sports bra top, whatever you want to call it. It's the longer, um, kind of like crop top more so, but it does have the built-in sports bra. This is in a size 2X because they didn't have an extra large and it did fit okay. It's a little bit looser than the extra large. The extra large would be probably that tighter, more secure fit. But this still fits well enough where if I'm going to be working out, I'll still feel com confident in it. And definitely for just wearing it, you know, as like out and about or as a lounge thing, it feels fine. So it was um, originally $29.99 and it was on sale for $14.99 or clearance for $14.99. And then they had the matching um, leggings. I'd actually found the leggings first. The pants, however, I did get in an extra large, which is my normal size in their active wear. This is the Old Navy active wear. These are the high rise 7 8 ankle power soft um, leggings. And these are very comfortable very stretchy um yeah and they're extra large and it's the same floral pattern they're super cute and the other thing that i bought that day was just a very simple yet cute little black dress every lady needs one in her closet this is a size extra large and it doesn't look like much on the 
screen here, but you should see me trying it on, hopefully. Um, this is a size extra large, and I paid $10.99. It was originally $39.99. It's short sleeve. It is kind of lightweight. It's not see-through. Um, and you can see that the top, it has like ruching. You can adjust this, so if you want to show a little more, you can kind of tighten it up around the boobs to make it fit accordingly and it has a little peep hole right in between kind of like right up under your boobs and where your tummy is and so it's just showing a little bit of skin not a lot nothing super inappropriate and I think you could probably cover it if you want to but it just gives you a little peep hole peekaboo super cute nice flowy simple dress um, has good stretch all right on to the last two items in this haul the first thing I'm going to show you, and I do not have fitting room footage of this, is what I bought yesterday. But however, I will include a stock photo so you can see what it actually looks like on a human body. This is a one-piece pants suit with pockets. We love things with pockets. This pattern is adorable. It is so comfortable. It's cute. It's lightweight. Perfect for fall. You could easily throw a nice little jean jacket, sweater, whatever over it. Um, if it's cooler at night where you are. This is a size extra, extra large. I tried on the extra large, which fit me fine. But it was slightly tight in the thighs. And while I would be, it wasn't uncomfortable, I just didn't want to have something because of the material. Um, I felt like over time, it, would, it may wear out quicker by having that pressure right there so I went up a size and I hope and because I, I didn't try this one on in the store I tried on extra large and something told me to grab the extra extra large just to compare and I typically do like when I'm on Navy if I'm not quite sure I will usually get the extra large and extra extra large to compare um and I didn't but they had it so I just picked it up and bought it this was on sale for $25 it retails for $44.99 so this was a great steal the top actually has a little bit of a fitted, almost like a, com not compression, almost like a corset, but just like right across the top in the boobs. Like that's it. The rest of it is loose and flowy. It's not a tight fitting outfit at all. It's very comfortable, um, but it does get that structure um, right on top, which I like and I wasn't expecting. But once I put it on, it was like perfect fit. It does have a like smocking across the back. So you get a little stretch and comfort and room. So I am hoping I'm probably going to try this on later tonight. I'm hoping that it fits well um, because the extra large fit great and I liked it. And I really thought it was really cute. So I hope it does fit. Alrighty. Last thing I picked up was a pair of jeans believe it or not i can't remember the last time i bought a pair of jeans and these are the rockstar extra high rise super skinny ankle stretch 360 degree stretch jeans in a size 18 which is my normal size um they were retail for 54.99 but they were on sale for 30 percent off and then I had my um, super cash, which I was redeeming. Now, I'll go ahead and show you the jeans. The main reason I got these are because they were distressed. And I love a good pair of distressed jeans. They have the skinny leg. And then they have two back pockets. So, pretty standard design. There no, there's no distressing on the back. Um, it's just on the front. And um, very stretchy in the waist. Those items, my uh, dress... And, or not dress, but my um, one piece outfit and my jeans, those were a total of 46 10 and that was after my $20 super cash because the jeans came out to be $26.37 and the um, pantsuit came out to be $17.12 and then I also earned another $20 in super cash which will be good starting in december so december 2nd so i'm not sure how long the earning period is for this but um the redemption period starts on december 2nd thank you so much for watching please be sure to like and subscribe and check out my other social media handles in the description box below see you next time